Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe. I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. In this video, I want to talk about a real pet peeve of mine, which is autosave. It's a brand new feature that Microsoft gave it. Well, it's a it's been around, but it's an enhanced new feature, I'll call it, with Microsoft Office 365 that they're really leaning into. So it used to be your document would save periodically, that was fine. But now what they've done is to compete with Google Docs, which is always very good, and having two people to have the same file open at one time. And as you made changes, you both saw them. That was great, and Google Docs had that. Microsoft did not. So the way Microsoft took care of this was they added autosave. So when I make a change, the document saves immediately. So they, if they make any change, it saves and updates from the previous. So you're always more current in your files. Nice idea in a shared environment. I'm solo. I'm not in a shared environment, and it causes me grief. Because I like to open up an old file, and then save as. So I go to File. I go down and open this invoice from 2016. So let's suppose I want to do the following week. I go in here, I try 7 slash 30, and then I drag it back. But you'll see the autosave is lit up at the top. So when I do that, it autosaved it for me. Now, if I don't catch that, if I go to F12 to save this as, and save it as next week, and it's saved. It's saved as next week. And so I do the work I do with it, and then I'm done. I'll close my file. Great. When I go back to reopen 2013 original, the date is wrong now. It's now showing this. Can I undo it? Can't undo it. So it's a real frustration. Now you can, I believe, go back into um, info or something and see previous versions, version history and go here, modify today, this time here. Nope, I wanna go, um, let's see what that one does. Nope, go back to this one. And now it's back where it was. And then I can save that as the new version and stop the madness, it's crazy. So no, I don't wanna do that. So let me fix my broken version. So I put in the date I wanna have in there. I'll copy it back over to fix my broken version now. I'll close it. You've got to remember to turn this thing off. Well, that sucks. So now what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to file down to options, over to save, auto save OneDrive and SharePoint OneDrive by default on Excel. No. Okay. Turn that off. If you're using OneDrive, and I use OneDrive. So when I go open the next week with my terrible spelling here, and I open it up, it's not on anymore. So if I change it to be 7 slash 30 slash 2016, if I were to copy that date backwards, and then go to save as F12, then I can save it as, uh, I'll call this the next week, the next week, and save that there. There we go. So I've now replaced it that way. File save as is cleaner without the autosave, but autosave is just muck when you get into saving as if you're, and it drives me nuts. I don't have to open a file and remember to save it as before I make a change to it. I make a change, and like I opened an invoice, add one to the invoice number, file save as, done. I don't want to kill the previous. So turn that off if it's not relevant to you. If you're in a shared environment, I'm sure it's a good tool. But for me, and like a lot of people who don't use necessarily a lot of shared files online, it's bad news. So that's the solution. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you like and subscribe to my page, I really appreciate it. Also, if there's something you'd like, if a pet peeve of yours, you'd like me to see if I can solve for you, then please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just a guy who's ranting about my own hate. But if something bugs you, there might be a solution, and I'm happy to search for those if I can. Thanks for watching. Bye now.